Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to another installment of Scott Selections here on March 20th. Uh, just a quick recap of what happened yesterday. Uh, we ended up having Belmont minus three and a half, which I gave out a couple of videos ago early because I wanted to do my March Madness bracket coverage. And Belmont ended up getting the job done as they won by 11. So since Belmont covered, that pushes our record on the show to nine and three overall. Uh, with all lines at minus 110 here at Scott Selections with StatSalt.com. But uh, as I said before, the worst thing we can do is we can get complacent. And with March Madness officially around the corner, it's important that we stay motivated and that we do whatever we can to try to generate some extra profit during the next couple of weeks. So with that being said, uh, there was some NIT stuff yesterday, which I gave some leans on. Those were okay, didn't do that great, but in terms of the overall selections that I gave, I was more confident with the with the Mar with the Belmont game as opposed to some of the other games I gave. But overall, uh, I'm pretty satisfied with how we've been doing so far at nine and three. We're hitting our picks at a 75% clip, and we are going to keep it going in this one where we look at the other first four game, and we are going to be looking at Arizona State and St. John's as they kick off at roughly nine ten in this game, and I like Arizona State to get the job done against St. John's. And the main reason why I like Arizona State in this game overall is just due to recent play and recent form. I think Arizona State, at this point in time, even though they ended up losing to Oregon, a lot of that has to do with the fact that starting guard Remy Martin got injured about halfway through that game and was not at 100%, whereas St. John's down the stretch has been terrible. And the only game that they've won over the last week or so was a game against DePaul in the conference tournament. But they, I watched them play. I'm a fan of St. John's. I always have been. So I've been following this team and I've been watching this team pretty much all year long. And I watched the game against Marquette where they lost by 30. Uh, and that was the last game they've played. This team just seems like they ran out of gas. And props to Coach Mullen for getting the St. John's team to the first tournament that they've been in in a couple of seasons. But overall. The issue that I have with St. John's in this game is just their lack of easy baskets. I know that that sounds a little bit, you know, peculiar as a criticism, but St. John's, if you watch them play, either settle for three-point shots or contested layups, and that's pretty much it. Because they have nobody on the interior. Uh, they've keyed off the bench, but other than that, they pretty much run four guards and a small uh, forward, and they pretty much just play small the entire game. And nobody on any possession tends to be standing in the paint. As St. John just likes to spread it out wide, and then they just love to either bomb threes away or they like to try for some layups with Pons or with Simon or any of those people. But overall, I think Arizona State is just too athletic. I think Dort's really good. I think Martin's really good. I just don't think that St. John's will be able to match up. The only way that I see Arizona State losing this game hypothetically is if St. John shoots the ball extremely well from the three-point line. If St. John struggles from the three-pointer like they have done in recent weeks, I don't see how they can keep this game close with Arizona State, considering the fact that Dort and Martin love to get, get to the rim, and I think that they'll get a lot of easier baskets in this game than St. John's will. It's also important to mention some trends that support why we like Arizona State, but I'm actually going to go into a brief recap, which I forgot to do previously. So Arizona State is currently minus two against St. John's. It was two and a half in some spots yesterday, but buyback has come in on St. John's. The game is in a neutral site in Ohio, and Arizona State is 22-10. and 10. They were 12-6 and 6 in conference, while St. John's is 21-12, and 12, and they were 8-10 and 10 in conference play. But of course, the Pac-12 was significantly worse than the Big East, so that could explain why there are a lot of differences between the conference records of these two teams. But there are a lot of trends that support uh, Arizona State in this game. The Sun Devils are 4-0 and ATS in their last four games following a straight-up loss. They are 5-1 and in their last six games following an ATS loss. And they are 4-1 and in their last five Wednesday games. Where St. John's, everything seems to be going wrong at this point in time. They are 1-5 ATS in their last six games versus the Pac-12. They are 1-4 ATS in their last five games overall. And just historically, St. John's is also 0-5 ATS in their last five NCAA tournament games. So I like Arizona State to get the job done. Oh, uh, Phil, the answer is I'm doing this as a live show because of the fact that since I'm on vacation, I usually uh, would put videos up through this uh, 
through this computer software, but that software is unavailable to me over vacation. So all of these videos will be in live stream format, but it'll only be a live stream for about five, six minutes until I go back to college on roughly the 24th. So until then, every show that I do is going to be a live stream format just because it was easier to record that way without all the necessary equipment. So just a logistical thing. That's why I'm doing a live stream. But to continue, thanks for joining us, Phil. Just to continue, there's also a reason why I like Arizona State. I like to ma I like to always talk about a statistical advantage between these two teams. And the issue that we're going to be covering is rebounding, where Arizona State currently averages 40.1 rebounds per game, which is tied for ninth in the country, where St. John's averages 32.6 rebounds per game, which is tied for 290th. So you have the ninth best rebounding team versus the 290th best rebounding team. St. John's will go one and done on the offensive end, taking long jump shots. And I think Arizona State is a serious threat to get second chance opportunities in the paint behind their great rebounding core. And I think Arizona State will get to the foul line more. They'll, get a, they'll win the second chance bat, uh, battle a lot more. Second chance points battle, I should say. And I think that they'll dominate on the boards. They should win this rebounding edge by at least 10 to 15 rebounds. So I will be going with Arizona State minus two to get the job done against St. John's. Feels actually pretty good. Uh, it's a concern the fact that I've gotten both of the first four games right so far. Both of the games have actually been extremely entertaining, and I'm kind of impressed with the fact of the way that Fairleigh Dickinson and uh, Belmont, those games were actually pretty high quality considering the fact that both teams tend they tend to be lower scoring games, but I thought it was extremely entertaining. I look for this game to also generate a decent amount of points, but it would not surprise me if this first half is surprisingly low scoring. It seems like everybody likes the over. The total's in the 150s. I know Arizona State can score, but St. John's is actually a very underrated defense because of their – the fact that they go small actually helps them defensively because they're able to switch on almost every single pick and roll, which will help them. But I do think they're going to get dominated in the interior. And as for St. John's offense, they love to play up-tempo, but they love to just settle for really bad three-point shots. And I think this game will be a relatively low-scoring game in the first half. I think this game, it might go over the, the whole total because of the desperation free throws at the end. But in terms of a first half, I actually think this game will be relatively low scoring in the first half. And I think this game will enter halftime somewhere in the realm of like 36, 33. I think it'll be in the sixties in the first half before it actually picks up in the second half and scoring, but that's just a moot point overall. As I said before, currently nine and three on the show, all at lines minus minus one ten, and our selection for March 20th is going to be Arizona state minus two to get the job done against St. John's. But that's going to do it for this installment of Scott Selections. I hope everybody's had a profitable week, and we look forward to hopefully going 10-3 on this Wednesday night. So have a good day, everybody.